good morning. It's the 19th of October, 2012. I went uh, and blew the recording. So we're in the middle of uh, trading. Got uh, five contracts on right now for short. Looks like we could have a foot forming on 610. Got plenty of separation on 987. Uh, looks like a bear flag on 4181 here. So we shall see. Okay, we're still in this short. We come down to this uh, recent low. We'll see if we can pop through that. I've learned how to separate stops and targets. You have to go into the control panel to do that. It's right here. have to expose these two rows increase and decrease then you choose the um, stop or the target and you just hit increase or decrease and it uh, splits them out this low. We've got another one coming up right here. We just got all kinds of resistance opportunities. Not to mention the ones that we identified back here. So probably be good to take a take one car out here since we've uh, got it in hand. Okay, I think we should take out a car now. Don't want to get greedy. Target filled. Okay, that's good. We're right at this support line that we marked. Got one right underneath it, so, you know, this could bounce here. But we had a BB print below the top Bollinger Band here on the 987 and it looks like same thing could happen here on the 1597 uh, this guy's been looking like a pretty good bear flag anyway so I think we got more more down in this okay we're making some pretty good progress coming down to another support level I think we want to take out another car because we got too much support and we'll treat our runner as a runner. Target filled. Okay. Now let's treat this runner as a runner. Bring our stop up. See, we're coming to a, uh, a fib area right here. This could be a pivot. Pass through this old resistance line. Got a good BB down on 987. This bear flag is proving out. Got all kinds of uh, previous activity in this this area, so you know it's easy for this to stall, reverse. We're, we're not sure what's going to happen. Indicators are saying stay in. Okay, we'll try to treat this as a runner even though I'm so tempted to close out with this uh, really nice trade. Let's see. I 
think the temptation, the temptation with a runner is to look at how well you've done for the day, and if you've done well enough, then cut your runner short. But I want to, I want to uh, resist that. Price has been parked now for uh, several, almost a minute, I think, right on an opening three days ago, three business days ago. Isn't that something? Down. Okay, we continue to reach new lows, and we're getting down to uh, fib on a uh, larger time ra larger time range. 9.87 is looking good. Coming to the lower Bo Bollinger Band on 15.97, that could be a bounce. We're getting some space underneath 6.10. Getting a bulge under. 4181 although this is a nice bear flag could continue to go down so we'll we'll keep treating this as a runner it's uh, become becoming more increasingly difficult we're also reaching a tent trend line the trend line comes in right around here so got a lot of potential support here we shall see two three three change up Okay, we're right at that trend line. We're right at this uh, deep fib button. Looks like we're still got some short in us. If we uh, get this BB to print below this Bollinger Band, that will be a, m a further indicator of, of more short. But uh, we're, we're definitely into high pressure deep, Two, three, three, change up. deep water right now. Okay, I could go for a reverse here. I might have, except that this BB printed right on the line. Now, I know that's a really uh, nitpicky distinction, but we've seen it uh, play out. Still have an opportunity for more short. This could be viewed as a bear flag plenty of opportunity for more shorts. So let's continue to treat this as a runner, as difficult as that may be. Okay, we got a s good signal for a long here on 610, but I'm, d I'm, not, uh, I'm not buying it. Uh, could easily do a reverse here and might, might make some headway, but I've been in this trade for a long time and uh, got a have a life, so we'll we'll let this <clears throat> we'll let this runner go and see if it's got any more legs in it. If it if it comes up here and stops out, uh, so be it. Okay, the uh, price came up and hit my stop. I'm actually kind of glad because this is a strong buy indicator, and wouldn't want to think that my indicators are not working. All right. Uh, give me a chance to catch my breath here and we'll recap. Okay, my first trade here at uh, 844 was a pretty weak, uh, had pretty weak entry signals. If you look at that 610 BB, yeah, it uh, popped under the Bollinger Band, but you know, that's a real weak V. Uh, the trend for the day was down, so you know. Uh, had the trend going, had that weak V, but we had look at the uh, 987 next to it and the 1597. They had uh, pretty good uh, separation, saying that we might have a long coming up. And then uh, when I here, here's a three bar going up that I didn't pay any attention to. And watched it go all the way to the stop out. So this this just wasn't uh, a very smart trade. It wasn't patient enough. Uh, then we got up to this uh, second short. Uh, let's see what we saw here. We've got some good separation on. Oh, I, I remember.
remember, I remember when I was getting into this trade, I said, this is a revenge trade. <laughs> this is a revenge trade. I'm trying to, I'm going to try to make up for what I lost on the first trade. And, you know, that's the kind of thing that you definitely want to avoid. I don't want to beat myself up over it, or I'll probably do it again, but I uh, really need to to make a, uh, a note of that. I think I'll create a tag for it in my uh, my software. It helps me look at what I uh, analyze what I'm doing. And I uh, made a little progress with it. Here's a two bar. should have probably gotten out then when I see uh, price, uh, especially that bounce on 440 right over here. Bounce. Yeah. There's a, there was a bounce on 440, as you can see at the second panel on the left, and that usually means you're going to have a pretty good head of steam for for a continuation in that direction. Uh, watch these two stop out. I'm just, you know, I'm really terrible at uh, bailing out of a trade once it looks like it's not going to go. So, you know. On the other hand. Uh, I took a short here. Why did we do that? Why did we do that? I'll have to analyze that. I, we weren't to the deeps yet, I don't believe. Let's check that out. Oh, that's not true. I mean, we had touched the deeps. Okay, so we had touched the deeps. We had plenty of separation. This was a pretty good uh, SR line right in here. So I had a strong bar down. That's not a real. That's not a real good setup. But we were at the deeps. Had lots of uh, SR here. Uh, took the trade uh, and it, and. Uh, hit the first target but then came against me and gave me plenty of heat plenty of heat let's see that was 27 3 to uh, 28 so it gave me seven ticks of heat came down again went up again I mean you know, things weren't moving very quickly in here so it was like taking forever finally it uh, went down and had our, uh, as you can see, the, the 610 came below the Bollinger Band from above, so that's a strong signal for a short. I took, I added on here, but look, look what happened. Look what happened. Look at the heat I took on this. But I really believe that that, that, that that indicator was good and that we wouldn't get above this range. We're, we were kind of in a range at this point and it turned out to be true so here's where my uh, very liberal s stops turned out and you know you, you hang in this forever hang in this forever hang in this forever and sh sure enough uh, it did turn out to be a wonderful short uh, cashed in down here when I got to uh, a couple of SR lines that I should have respected over here when I took this short, and those SR lines were right in here, and I kind of ignored them, I guess. Yeah, here they are. Look at those. Ding, ding. And look at the price action we had in between those two SR lines. So, those things, those babies really count, as we know, but it's not that easy to pay attention to them. Uh, came down further cashed in some there and then uh, finally stopped out here was treating that as a runner came back up and got me uh, you know that's that's the way it goes uh, let's see uh, right here 440 was probably telling me right here to get out wouldn't have saved me a lot though. Wouldn't have saved me a lot. Okay, so we got out here and it's been sideways since then. Alright, let's take a look at uh, the results for today. Okay, we had uh, two stopouts.
two stop outs that got me behind by uh, you know six and a half, almost seven points, and I was feeling pretty bad at that point. Uh, I guess I was in kind of a you know revenge trade mode, but I really felt that a short was coming. The trend for the day had been down. Um, Europe was down. The uh, housing news really wasn't that great. It was less than last month, so uh, even though it was a little more than expected, it was less than ma that month. I knew that was weighing heavy, um, so I added on three times, had eight cars going, made 15 points. Uh, that may be my best trade ever. In any case, we ended up the day with uh, almost nine points, 8.7 points and um, I'm very appreciative. I do understand what I'm doing and in terms of putting those extra cars on and I, I know that you know hey when I go back to cash I'm not gonna have that uh, luxury to just be throwing cars around like I was some kind of a Lincoln Mercury owner dealership owner uh, but you know I've got to play I've got to play the game as I understand it right now. Two, three, three, change down. I feel like I'm learning a lot. Big, Big Mike uh, and all the men who work on that side have really been uh, contributing, and I've been trying to suck that up and give back as much as I can. And I appreciate it. Uh, best of trading to you, and we'll see you next week.